You're watching New York Sports Nation Nightly. Yeah, and I, I, I think, you know, the one thing about when everyone talks about, you know, load management and how many minutes guys are playing, I think, yeah, you want to reduce the minutes that Jalen Brunson plays to some degree. But, you know, the guy has been a workhorse his entire career when he was certainly at Villanova. He was like that in Dallas. Yeah, he gets, you know, nicked up a little bit. But this is a guy that is durable for the most part. And he's a physical player. So, and the more he plays, the better the team is. And I think if you look at the history of the NBA, I was looking at it today. My, you know, Michael Jordan's last three years with Chicago, he was 32, 33, and 34 years old. He played every game in the regular season, obviously every playoff game. And he averaged 37 minutes per game. And then in the playoffs, it went over 40 minutes a game. So, you know, the best players play, the best players want to play. And here's the secret ingredient to winning in the NBA. Your best players need to play a lot. You know, the Lakers have figured it out. That's why LeBron plays 35 minutes a night. You know, you look at the top guys, they all play a lot of minutes. What do you think the ceiling is to this Knicks team right now, Frank? Well, you know, I, I think if you look at the Eastern Conference, there's a lot of question marks. You know, Joel Embiid right now is out for the Philadelphia 76ers. You have no idea when he's going to come back, how he'll be when he comes back from knee surgery. He's out at least four weeks. He'll probably be out as long as six to eight weeks. So they're vulnerable. You know, Boston is a team with Chris Zingas, our old friend from the New York Knicks. He's had some injury concerns. Milwaukee looks like a vulnerable team. Last year, Miami came this close to getting eliminated in the 8-9 play-in game. They made it all the way to the NBA Finals. I think if things were to uh, break right for the Knicks, because you do need a little bit of luck along the way, certainly Miami had luck last year during their playoff run. I don't think there's any reason why the Knicks you can't get to an NBA Finals. I think I, I think Boston is the best team in the NBA. I think they have the most talent, but I thought they had the most talent last year as well, and they lost to Game 7 at home. So for me, there's no sure thing in the Eastern Conference, and Cleveland is another good team. So I think they're excellent teams. But I think if the Knicks are healthy at the right time and they're playing that the way they are right now, they'll be a difficult team to beat four out of seven times in a playoff series.